But first, tonight at 6. The canine did what it's supposed to do. The guy had been given many instructions to lay down or he was going to be bit. It's the video that has many of you talking online. We're going to hear from police and the woman who this man allegedly attacked. Good evening, Sioux Falls Police are conducting an internal review after what's become a high-profile arrest. And we want to warn you that some of the video is disturbing. Kelloland's Dan Santella was in court today when the aggravated assault suspect made his appearance and joins us with new information from police and court documents. Sioux Falls Police Public Information Officer Sam Clemens says the suspect, 27-year-old Dylan Eitz, threatened to kill the victim and strangled her. She was able to get away and call 911. Um, he realized that the f she had called 911, took that phone away, and then a third time he strangled her again. Uh, this last time it was to the point where she completely lost consciousness. Just get up! Get up right now! When officers arrived, Eitz reportedly tried to run away. Police chased after him through several yards before a canine officer spotted him a few blocks away. He was trying to hide in a window well. Um, I think everybody's probably seen the video that kind of kicks in at this point in time, but um, we have to remember from the canine handler's point of view, he knew that there was an aggravated assault domestic. He didn't know what the nature of that was. He didn't have any details of that. He just knew that we had a felony assault that had taken place. These cases, Clemens says, can involve a knife or gun. He says the officer ordered Eitz to get out of the window well five times. The guy came up and sat on the edge of the window well and wasn't following any directions. The, the, the officer was telling him to get down, to lay down. Um, he didn't know if the guy had any weapons on him. He didn't know if there was any weapons that may have been hidden in the window well. That's when the canine bites Eitz, allowing officers to handcuff and arrest him. Eitz was treated at a hospital. The department's internal review will determine if appropriate force was used. Eitz faces several charges, including aggravated domestic assault, kidnapping, resisting arrest, fleeing police, and interfering with emergency communications. Bond is set at $10,000.